All right, we're still on that original handout, <coughs> excuse me, and we're on problem number six. Um, and we've got some conversions in here, so it's a little bit of a busier program uh, problem. So number six, make sure you're always clear on what that question is asking. And here they're looking for NLs, right? So that's my X or label. I'm going to write my information. The patient weighs 160 pounds. What we have ordered is 10 milligrams per kg. And we're going to give that every four hours. Which every four hours means you may have six doses. Now, whether we need that or not, we'll have to determine in just a minute. And the vial says we have one gram per ml. Okay. So we, this is a busy little problem that we have a lot of things that we've got to know. We have grams and milligrams. So we know that one gram equals a thousand milligrams. That's a conversion. And we also um, have kg to pounds. One kg equals 2.2 .2 pounds. You need that in this problem. Right? Now the way I set up these problems, I put, I don't convert my pounds to kgs first off. I just include it in my problem setup. If you convert your uh, pounds to kgs ahead of time, do not round to a whole number. Round it to the hundredth place. So for instance, if you do your weight and it comes up to a long number, round to the nearest hundred. If you round the kgs to a whole number, you're gonna get a wrong answer. It'll throw off your problem. Okay, so we're ready to set it up. We're looking for mLs. ML equals, let's find mLs. We have to start off with a conversion. So we know one mL equals one, no, we're not starting with conversion. We started right here, one mL equals one gram, excuse me. We'll continue on with our conversion. One gram equals a thousand milligrams. All right, we've used that. Then we've got 10 milligrams per kg. And then we have our conversion. One kg equals 2.2 .2 pounds. And we finish off with the weight, which is 160 pounds. And that's the setup. I'm going to cross out my like things, gram, gram, milligram, milligram, kg, kg, pounds, pounds. We're good to go, all right? So now it's a matter of doing our math. Now you may be saying, well, wait a minute, what about that every four hours? This is the type of problem. All we're asking, we didn't ask for how many mLs per day or anything like that. All we want to know is how many mLs for that particular dose. So in this problem, Right here, it is not needed. It's a distractor. We did not use this. So if you divide it by four or whatever, you messed up, all right? So this comes to 1,600 over 2,200 equals 0 0.72. We have to round that to the nearest 10. So your answer is 0 0.7. All right. Let's work number seven. Number seven, we are looking for milligrams in this problem. A child is to receive tetracycline. The prescribed dose is five milligrams of body weight um, per kg of body weight. If the child weighs 86 pounds, how many milligrams would the child receive? This one actually is pretty straightforward, okay? So I'm gonna write my information down. Uh, we've got five milligrams per kg, um, and the child weighs 86 pounds. So the conversion um, needed here is one kg equals 2.2 .2 pounds. All right, so let's set it up. Milligram equals, we know five milligrams, you start off with milligrams, five milligrams per 
kg, one kg equals 2.2 pounds, and the child weighs 86 pounds. Kg, kg, pound, pound. That's all we have to do. It comes out to 430 divided by 2.2, and that equals 195.45, but we have to round to the nearest tenth, so it comes to 195.5. We will tell you how, you how we want you to round. If you round to the nearest tenth, Dr. Reyes will say whether she wants you to do that or not. She will guide you on how to round. But the rule of thumb is to the nearest tenth. All right?